Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So in today's video, we are going to be going over the patch notes for Title Update 3.1.0 that was just released earlier today over on the official Ghost Recon website and their social media accounts. So this will contain some of the updates coming with the Title Update itself, as well as the new live event Operation Amber Sky. So real quick before we jump into that, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated. Also, for those of you that may be new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any of my future uploads. Also, also, do take note that the gameplay that you guys are watching in the background is from the live event Operation Amber Sky. The devs were kind enough to give me early access to this so I could get some gameplay for you guys, so hopefully you will enjoy that in the background. So the download size of this new update on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation systems is all going to be 20 gigs, and that goes for Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. So with Live Event 3 Operation Amber Sky, as we head into 2021, the devs are thrilled to be releasing the third Live Event Similar to the previous live events, Operation Amber Sky will bring new limited time content starting on January 21st, and this will end on February 1st, so plan accordingly if you guys want to unlock those exclusive items. So the event will bring out 9 new missions, and there will be breach missions, spy missions, and steel missions that are going to be included with that, as well as there will be some brand new gameplay elements introducing 5 toxic gas areas and 7 new breach locations that will offer new player approach. So with that, the new gas mask feature, so while you are in lethal gas zones, players will have a limited time before their filters degrade. Players will have to gather filter charges or head to a recharging station so that they can survive in these gas areas. Also, breaching is going to be a new mechanic, so players will breach into these new buildings by placing explosive charges on the access doors. Enemy AI will be in alert state and hold their positions to defend the building, as well as there will be three new AI teammates from Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege with unique behaviors. So Thatcher will have a special skill which allows him to use his EMP grenade to sabotage any active ground drone, turret, or mortar. Ash will have a special skill that will allow her to use her grenade launcher to explode explosive barrels or populated vehicles. And Finca's special skill will be able to heal or even revive players when their health reaches a dangerous amount, providing a health and weapon stability buff for a short period of time. Now moving on to some of the new rewards featuring Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. So these rewards are time limited exclusives and will be made available at Maria's shop two weeks after the live event ends. So you will gain access to the Ash, Finca, and Thatcher figures. So these are going to be full blown characters that you can change into in the character customization as well as seven brand new weapons. So we have the 4AC, the Bailiff 410, the G2, which was a weapon from Ghost Recon Wildlands. We also have the K1A, the L85A2, which I believe also was another weapon from Ghost Recon Wildlands, as well as we have the M59A1 and the OTS-03. And then also for those of you guys that did not know, once you complete this entire live event, you will gain access to the under barrel shotgun attachment, which hopefully you can put that on most weapons. Obviously you shouldn't really need to put it on a shotgun, but hopefully you can put it on a lot of the ARs. And I'm not exactly sure how that would work with submachine guns, but I hope we can put it on at least all of the ARs and some of the DMRs and stuff in the game. So also do take note that the gas areas are gonna be added to the event parameters or the world modifiers. So once this live event ends, you can actually toggle on and off the gas presence in the world modifiers, which is going to be really, really cool. So once the live event is over, this gas and everything like that doesn't necessarily have to go away you can go in and activate it in the world modifiers setting so now moving on to some of the gunsmith improvements and new attachment options so this was sort of another overhaul to the gunsmith in ghost recon breakpoint which i know a lot of you guys wanted to hear so with that being said they have added collapsed and extended stock position selections to various weapons including the echelon smg the mpx factory the mp5 the honey badger the mp7 the arx 200 the uzi the Mark 14 factory and the G28 factory. So also with the Mark 14 and the Mark 14 ASU, they added barrel customizations. They also added integration of the UGS, which is the universal grip system. They added a Picatinny rail on the factory handguard, and they also fixed issues on the muzzle selection on ASU variation. 
Now two silencers are available with the 762 generic and the 762 mini SOCOM, as well as they also added stock selection to the assault variation. So they also made a couple of changes to the Coblin, so they made some adjustments to the handguard retakes and modified the barrel gas block to the low profile selection. They also added the Picatinny rail for under barrel selection on the Uzi. Also with the G28 Scout, they added the universal grip system and added new stock selections. With the G28 base variant, they added the universal grip system as well as they added a short barrel variation. Now with the SAS G12, they added the short barrel and the ability to equip the MAWL laser, which honestly is the best laser sight in the game. Moving along to the Vector Shorty, so they added a grenade launcher M203 under barrel to the attachment list as well as an AR-15 stock selection for the Vector Shorty. They also added the range finder to the UMP45 CQC as well as they added extended magazine attachments on handguns with the M1911, the P227, the P12, the P320, the M9, the 5.7 USG, and the P45T. So now moving on to some of the new items in Maria's shop that you're going to be able to purchase with scale credits. So we have the flat cap hat, we have the UA Micro G Pursuit Twist shoes, we have the Oakley Jawbreaker eyewear, we also have the handgun extended magazine attachment, you're going to be able to buy that from Maria's shop. We also have the first Spear Centurion shorts, which is the selection of pants. We have the Safariland V1 over carrier vest, as well as we have the Road CM Fusion and Metric, which is a LHT variation for the vehicle. They also added 30 new flags to the gear patch selection screen, so make sure to go in there and check out to see if your flag is in there, especially if it was previously missing. So you will also be able to pick up all of the items from both previous live events with the Terminator and the Resistance live event. All of those unique items that were a part of both of those live events will now be in Maria's shop for scale credits. As well as a number of the PvP exclusive rewards are now going to be able to be purchased from Maria's shop including the aviators and the goggles ACH, which is for the eyewear section. We have a number of face paints. You can also get the skull ballistic mask, which I know a lot of people wanted to have that in the PVE part of the game. You will now be able to buy that from Maria's shop. There's also a number of gear and weapon camos that you're gonna be able to get from Maria's shop that used to be PVP exclusives. And last but not least, we have the new items, which is going to be in the in-game store that you're gonna be able to purchase with ghost coins, AKA real money. So there's a couple of new unique weapons, including the 4AC Brown variant, as well as you're going to be able to pick up Hibana, Jaeger, Mozzie, Thermite, Twitch, and Zofia, which is the other Rainbow Six Siege operators. Those will all be available to purchase in the in-game store. And last but definitely not least, for those of you guys over the course of the lifespan of Ghost Recon Breakpoint have been asking me about the head bandana that my character has been wearing. Up until this point, it was an Ultimate Edition exclusive, but you are now going to be able to pick that up in the in-game store for real money. So included in this, you will be able to pick up the new CQC weapon, the Survivor Bandana, the Survivor Pants, the Alice Chess Rig, and the M1911 promise those were all items that were exclusive to the ultimate edition back during release you will now be able to go in and buy all of those items in the in-game store but overall that's going to do it for the video i just wanted to give you guys all of the new items and patch notes and stuff to go along with this there is a number of bug fixes and stuff that i will leave a link to down below in the description if you want to go check all of the rest of the patch notes out for yourself but like i said that's all for the video if you guys enjoyed it you are excited about title update 3.1.0 and the new amber sky live event make sure to drop a like on the video and and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on all content surrounding Ghost Recon Breakpoint on the channel moving forward. But that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.